Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy. Welcome back to another video. So today is very, very, very exciting. Um, Wendy has released a new burger and some new fries to go with it. I'm very excited. Um, Wendy is used to be my favorite fast food place ever. Um, I work, I know I worked at McDonald's and I preach McDonald's a lot and I really, really enjoy McDonald's. Um, Wendy's is the best burger in fast food. Anybody who's about to chime in and say, oh my God, but five guys, you can buy an entire meal for the price of a single burger at Five Guys. So even though Five Guys burgers are good, I will never justify that price for a burger. Um, but that being said, we're here to talk about Wendy's. So let's talk about Wendy's. Right off the bat, I wanna go ahead and rate everything about you know the company um, as a whole because I accidentally did that with the Chick-fil-A video I made last week. So I gotta do it with Wendy's. Um, personally, I think for the pricing aspect of Wendy's, they do a pretty damn good job. The only thing I'm gonna say about Wendy's is why are their drinks so expensive? Because their smalls, mediums, and large are all more expensive than McDonald's prices for their drinks. And for the most part, they're pretty similar in size. I will say this, Wendy's large cups are probably the largest cups that you will get at any fast food restaurant, but it's still not worth like $3 for uh, uh, just a drink. Now that being said, I did get a premium lemonade, so this is more expensive, but even their like fountain drinks are expensive. Um, I got this and I've never tried this before. It's blueberry pomegranate lemonade. And I will say this, it is fantastic. The Wendy's is about 20 minutes from my house. So I have already tried that. So you can't get my genuine first reaction, but I love that. And I think it's really good. I'm going to give it a solid 8.7 out of 10. If you've never tried any of Wendy's like fresh lemonades, they're worth it. Okay. They are really good. I know that it's kind of like, oh my God, an extra dollar for a drink. It's a pretty damn good drink. Um, but here we are here to talk about the burger. Um, it's the loaded nachos cheeseburger. And in addition to that, they made special queso fries. I'm actually going to start with the fries because in my opinion, a burger can kind of sit out longer and still be good, but like fries, you kind of want to eat them as soon as possible. So I'm going to start with the fries here, which I know might be backwards, but I low key don't care. I'm starving. I'm hungry. I'm ready to dive right into this. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up probably make a mess of myself and or my entire room um right off the bat does not look fantastic all of the cheese is kind of in one spot and also all the cheese is like hardened onto each other but like i said that's probably because i don't live very close to wendy's so it's been sitting in my car for like 20 minutes but we're gonna go ahead and try it cheers All right, and it tastes exactly what you would imagine queso fries would taste like. The queso is pretty solid. Um, it kind of tastes like a little hints of like jalapeno peppers. I'm not entirely sure if that has the peppers in it, but it was a little spicy. The cheese is very good. Um, and Wendy's fries are just Wendy's fries. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not a huge fan of Wendy's fries unless you get them absolutely fresh. They're not great, and these don't taste super fresh. But like I said, 20 minutes. I'm not gonna jump in that much points for that. I really like it. I'm gonna give them a solid like. I'm gonna go 8.1 out of 10. Um, not as good as their regular Baconator fries. So if you're planning on getting special fries, I would still recommend just the Baconator fries, but they're not terrible. Okay, but now the moment that we've all been waiting for, moment of truth, how good is the nacho cheese cheeseburger? Um, for one, I didn't know this. It comes with like a specialty bun. Um, what's it called? When I was looking at the picture of it, it looked really good. It's like Italian herb and cheese bread from Subway. And before someone's like, it's Italian herb and cheese, not Italian herb and cheese. Um, I don't care. I pronounce the H. And if you have a problem with that, I'm, I'm actually really sorry. I'll, I'll make you an apology letter. Just let me know. Um, but what's it called? So it's pretty good. It has the essentials. It has lettuce and tomatoes. Um, my, my mind blanked on what the essentials was. After I said it has the essentials. Um, and then it has a nacho cheese sauce and it doesn't have any other sauces. So it's not like it's going to have ketchup, mustard, the regular stuff on it. But I'm still excited to try this. We're going to dive right into it. Cheers. I'm not gonna lie, this is really, really good. This might be one of the best burgers I think I've had in a really hot minute. Um, it is still like scorching hot. It is still really hot, which another reason I love Wendy's is they keep their things in tinfoil instead of the regular like paper wrapping. So nice. This is really, really good. The meat is nice and juicy. The cheese sauce is like a really good ratio. Sometimes when they do stuff like this, the cheese is really overbearing, but I think that they did a really good like balance of, here's a little bit of cheese. And then it's really like well spread out throughout the burger. This is pretty solid. 
I really like the bun as well. Like the bun is really soft and kind of like melts in your mouth. It kind of looks like really crushed in the video, but it's like, it's a little like croissant type bread. Like, I don't know. It's really soft and like airy. And I really enjoyed this actually. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and finish this. And then I'm going to give you guys my final thoughts and ratings on the whole meal as a whole. So I will see you guys in a bit. Alrighty, so I just wrapped that up. Um, I thought that that burger was really, really good. I very much enjoyed it. And I will actually say this, this is probably the first time I've tried a fast food sandwich on this channel. And I haven't had something like a negative critique or something that I would change about it. I think that that burger was incredibly, incredibly solid. As far as a burger from a fast food place, that's one of the best ones you're going to get. Um, I think that the sauce was really good. It was nice and creamy. Um, it was a really good consistency, which is really nice because a lot of time queso, it's either like too liquidy or it's too thick. That one was like the perfect, like condensed right in the middle. Um, the sauce was very spicy and it was really good at, um, I don't know, just everything all together worked really well. Like it was a great combination of flavors and it was really good. Like typically speaking, um, if I have a sandwich like that or whatever, I'll end up leaving it being like, that probably would have still been good if you put the regular condiments on it. No, it would not have been. That was really good as it was. I definitely think if you put ketchup, mustard, and mayo or anything like that on it, it probably would have ruined the sandwich. And um, I am really happy that that was the way that was. I thought that it was supposed to have chips on it. Mine that I had did not have chips on it, but I keep seeing, I, I thought I saw pictures of it with chips, like nacho chips on it. And um, I was like kind of like waiting for that crunch to come in because I was like, that's going to be weird. It didn't have that, which I actually was, like, pleasantly surprised with. I was A-OK. -okay. So maybe if that was, like, just somebody, like, messing up my order and it, it it was supposed to have nacho chips on it and it didn't. I don't know. But I really enjoyed it as that was. That was very, very solid. And um, the fries were very basic. Very basic. I was not a big fan of the fries. Which is weird because, like, the sauce that made the burger insanely good did, like, nothing for the fries, which I thought was weird. Uh, but maybe it's just because I really don't like Wendy's fries. But, yeah, so my final grade for the fries, I'm going to stick with around that 7-point mark. Uh, it's, at the end of the day, fries are fries, so I'm going to give it a 7.2. It's not really anything special. Um, like I said, Baconator fries from Wendy's are much better. And Wendy's also has baked potatoes, which are also really good. You can get loaded baked potatoes. Um, but the burger itself might be one of the best sandwiches I've tried from a fast food place in recent history or recent memories um i'm gonna give it a solid 9.4 out of 10 remember this is fast food standards so you're not gonna go there and think oh my god this is the best burger i've ever had but it's a pretty damn good burger and um for the price i think it works really well i liked it uh but yeah that was it for this video guys thank you guys so much for coming around watching i love and appreciate you guys and i hope you guys have a great day peace out bow bow bow